Resin Bonded Bridges by Dr. Mark Gottlieb. The benefits of adhesive bridges. They're easy and fast. They're reliable and long-lasting. They're conservative. They're cost-effective. There's no lab fee. They can be easily repaired as opposed to ceramic crowns. There are many indications to making a resin or adhesive bridge. I have many concerns with anterior crown and bridge. A resin bridge can be used as a temporary during the healing phase of an implant placement. Or in a case of a fistula, you've got a lower anterior tooth where there's a fistula from 2004. And then as it heals, the bone will fill in, allowing you to graft that area and place an implant. Although in this case, this was placed probably 10 years earlier, and as you can see from both views, that can leave it lateral off of the natural central is doing very well. The trick to success is to reinforce the material, reinforce the denture tooth with a composite reinforced material or any fire reinforced material to allow flexure of the material. Often or not, we get a lateral like this with a fractured root and peroneal disease. So I'm going to cantilever a tooth off of this. This is a denture tooth that's cantilevered off of a central. Notice how the bone fills in. Here is a case of an impacted cuspid. Oftentimes we encounter a non-restorable tooth with peroneal disease so it requires a resin bonded bridge. At the time of surgery, I'll create an ovate pontic and embed that into the extraction site. Here we have a lingual view of the finished resin bonded bridge. It's as simple as extracting the tooth and then placing two class 3 composites in the central and the cuspid, bonding the tooth in place. Here is another example of a parallelly involved lateral that I extracted and bonded a tooth in place. This bridge also has been in the mouth for over 10 years and it looks just like it was placed yesterday. This is probably my favorite case. This is a 14 year old who presented in 2011 with a peg lateral and missing lateral incisor. Here he is in 2013 for a follow-up exam, and it looks really good. This is one case where I can actually follow it over time. So now he's 20 years old. This is six years later, and it looks great. I mean, I can't find a reason to replace this resin-bonded bridge with an implant. So let me show you now how to place a resin-bonded bridge through the following illustrations. You will encounter two clinical scenarios. One is a fresh extraction site, and one is a healed ridge lap area, like you see in the above illustration. The first step is to measure the site and establish a denture tooth that will fit into this site. Step two is to create a retentive prep into the underside of the ridge lap area of the denture tooth. After the prep is performed, I then apply a small layer of monomer for my denture repair kit. This is then followed with regular bonding liquid and then light cured for 10 to 20 seconds. Once cured, a small amount of regular composite is applied to the underside of the denture tooth. The uncured material is then placed back into the mouth, seated onto the ridge lap area, and light cured to take on the shape of the ridge lap itself. When working with a fresh extraction site, I will create a bullet and then place that back into the mouth so it goes about three millimeters into the fresh extraction site. The enamel surface on the adjacent teeth is now prepared with phosphoric acid to allow the bonding material which is placed to adhere to the natural enamel. Light cure your unfilled resin as per the manufacturer's instructions. Place a little bit of composite into the contact area. This will allow the denture tooth to stay in place. Once the denture tooth is inserted, take a plastic instrument or gold instrument to sculpture the contact areas prior to curing the light. Now the denture tooth is securely placed. This will allow you to take a fissure burr, any common burr that you'd like to use, to place a trench on the lingual surface. Treat the enamel like you would with acid etch. Take a little bit of the monomer that you used before to prep the denture tooth. Simply rinse and dry your prepared surface. At this point, apply the unfilled resin again across all three teeth. Now light cure it for the 10 seconds or 20 seconds as per the manufacturer's instructions. Place another layer of composite into the prepared area. At this point, I will layer in some of my composite reinforced fiber material on top of my resin. Now light cure that for the manufacturer's recommended amount of time, usually 10 to 20 seconds. Place another layer of composite on top of that. Take a few extra seconds to sculpt the area before light curing. That will make your polishing and cleanup a lot easier. It really is that simple. You take a football diamond or any finishing kit that you have, finish off the lingual surface, and now you've created a strong, reliable, long-lasting resin bridge. I've been providing this type of service to my patients for over 30 years. I would encourage you to try this in your practice. 
they're successful, they're conservative, they're easy to maintain, and your patients will love them.